So after Kenzo B pulls up to Lil Maya Kenzo's house and yells outside like a lunatic, she decides to hit up Murder B and try to pull up. Like she just, I don't know, she was having one of those nights where she just hitting up all the people who I guess she have issues with. Now Murder B automatically clowns her for not having money or having a car. You know, then cards are out basically saying people fell off and want to eat me this late at night. Mind you, she started beefing over an interview I wasn't even talking about her on. Female is constantly eating me. French Montana don't care about you? Now, I just checked French Montana Instagram. He was in Saudi Arabia yesterday. I don't know why he didn't bring Kenzo B and let her experience that or let her perform. I don't see how these artists sign other artists and don't really be bringing them with them. Don't be putting them on different platforms. It just doesn't make no sense to me. Not saying that French Montana don't care about Kenzo B, but if you really want the artist to win, you're supposed to invest real money and real opportunities into them. There's no reason why Kenzo B should just be running around the Bronx just looking for trouble. You know? I don't think Kenzo B is really signed over there, to be honest with you. Um, I do think she's affiliated. She's still, you know, she's still quote boys. But I don't think she's signed. Or I don't think French Montana got her signed to where he's putting, you know, big money behind her or nothing like that now as far as what murder b is saying she basically saying like yo kenzo b leave me alone we don't even have real beef i wasn't talking about you in that interview that's sad because most of these rappers even outside of murder b and kenzo b be so quick to diss somebody and look for smoke especially in the bronx like they just so quick to just Anything for clout, anything to get some kind of attention on them. You got to think about it like this. All y'all rappers, all my viewers right now, think about it like this. What's the biggest rap hub since 2013? What's the biggest rap area that the most rappers popped off that had the strongest influence? It's Atlanta. The Migos got tapes with Young Thug. Young Thug's got tapes with Future. Gucci got tapes with everybody. Everybody works and supports everybody. Imagine a song with Murder B, Kenzo B, and Shiny Money. It's over. It's done. It's viral. Lil TJ and um, Polo G came up together. They dropped a song together. They ain't diss each other. They came up together. Not saying that beefing ain't smart marketing. But the Bronx draw artists overdo it. And it ends up making them look bad in the long run. Kenzo B, fall back, make music, do your thing. That's it. All this drama is making you look bad. It's making RPT look bad. Digital Thugs, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Digital Thugs underscore. Check out the podcast on Spotify and other streaming platforms. Digital Thugs Podcast.